In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called evaluating a piecewise defined function. We're given h of x, which is piecewise defined, and we're asked to find h of negative 3, h of 1, and h of 2. And starting with the negative 3, the question is which piece does h of negative 3 fall under? And since negative 3 is less than negative 2, we would want to use the top piece of h of x. So h of negative 3, using the top definition, we would replace x with negative 3. So negative 1 half times negative 3 plus 2. Doing multiplication first, negative 1 half times negative 3 would be a positive 3 halves, again plus 2. Getting a common denominator here, 2 is the same thing as 4 halves which we can now add 3 halves and 4 halves for 7 halves. So we found the first h of negative 3. Moving on to h of 1. 1 is between negative 2 and 2, so that's the second piece of our piecewise defined function. So when we plug in for h of 1, we're going to use that second definition, replacing x with 1 would give us 1 minus 1 quantity squared. Working inside the parentheses first, 1 minus 1 is 0 squared. So h of 1 is 0, substituting into that piece. And lastly, we have h of 2. And here we notice that for the last piece, that's only to be used if x is greater than 2. And since here x is 2, it actually falls into the middle piece here because the inclusion part includes 2. So to find h of 2, I'll also substitute into that middle piece. Replacing x with 2 would be 2 minus 1 quantity squared. Inside the parentheses would be 1 squared. So h of 2 is 1. And notice that we'd never actually use the third piece because we never plugged in a value that was greater than 2. We only plugged in 2, which fell into the middle piece. 